Welcome to part two of how to paint a laminate cabinet. Let's see how that turns out next on My Younger Life. Hey, check it out. I want to thank Carla at TNT for making this super cool hat. Really love it. Check out the back. So this cabinet turned out fantastic. I'm so excited. Um, I can finally put away all the plethora of crock pots, electric skillets, air fryer, juicer, espresso machines. Don't forget the waffle iron. I think you get the idea. I got a lot of stuff. Let's get to this cabinet and see how it turns out. I think you'll like it. So you'll really want to get the roller pads for cabinets and doors, not your normal ones that you would use for walls. And I'm putting a one to two, three primer. Since this is laminate, it needs some texture. And you'll load up the end of your brush. I recommend getting a good bead. That'll help you get a good straight line. Look at that. Just push that bead right down the edge. going to roll. Do not get too much on there. This is a lot. You're going to find that this cabinet laminate is a little slippery. So if you push down too hard or put too much paint, it's going to slide instead of roll. We really want a good roller for this job. show all that I'm just rolling everything so here's what the paint is going to look like we decided to go with black on the outside gray on the inside I'm going to trim out with the brush a little lesson about paints uh, your latex paints are like your house paints. Acrylic paints are going to have more of an oil base. They're hard to clean up. They smell nasty. And they are more durable. But the trade-off is kind of difficult to take, especially for something you're going to have inside your house. that brush down. If you push your bristles down and get a really nice, pay some good money for a good brush, you can actually push under things that are not heavily attached. It's a nice technique if you're painting a house. Get a good wide brush with a good angle. They'll cost you about $15, $20, but they're well worth it. You can wash them and use them. I had one butt brush last me 15 years. Easy. Don't get too excited there, Patty. And then if you really need to, break out the little brush. Nothing wrong with that. You can get around things very easily, under things. Trim it out nice. You don't have to worry about clean up, wiping off, or using a sharp edge to scrape. Honestly, these chrome hinges are very easy to clean up. I could take paint off with my fingernail. Show you a few techniques. Here's a little roller. I'm going to start out with that. I'm going to show you one of the reasons I didn't like it. The foam pad is a little thicker than the other one and it seemed to leave a lot of marks that I kept having to go over and you can see where it slid. It wasn't rolling smoothly enough for me. 
I'm gonna try it just to show you. This is an option. These areas are a little narrow, so you may think this is a better option than using the wide ruler. But this ruler just didn't do it for me. You can see the streaks, the little lines where the ends left beads up of the paint. I was just like, ah, I'm not doing it. After a while, I just couldn't take it anymore. And I went back to the wider one, even on the thin areas. And I'll show you why. Out that little brush again. I'm going to fix all these little areas where I had trouble getting paint into. This little spot painting. technique for peeling off tape. If you peel a little toward your painted edge, it will tear a lot less often. I got it too straight up there and I tore it. I'm not going to worry about it. I can come back with a razor later. Pull that right up. And I had to solve the problem when I put my two cabinets together and you'll be able to see that in a little while. I had to fashion or come up with a way that I was going to cover the joint that was left behind when these two met because one cabinet stacks on top of the other and I found this little weather stripping type piece in the cabinet section at our local hardware store but I had to cut down the inside so it would fit like a, uh, a little tab so I'm using my Dremel tool one day I'm going to do a tool review on this on my tool Tuesday hashtag shorts hey don't hate on the pants they're nice and warm, and I love them. There's that gap I was telling you about. Got to fill that in, so tucking this in. And to it pushing that tab I made in between. This thing is massive. There we go. Once again, loving my reindeer pants. Hey, getting near that season. Putting a nice corner on it. Needed to fold that so I could get a good angle to it. Good 90 degree angle. There you go. Now I'll put some silicone. Word to the wise though, make sure you get some paintable silicone. I put this on and I didn't think to look. It is not easy to paint. It will beat up your paint and you'll have to do other things. I'll have to kind of scuff it a little bit so I can get the paint to stick. I'm going to sand it off on the top. Hindsight should have painted first then use silicone or used a paintable silicone.
There's that razor blade I told you about. There was some spray paint left over that was all over the glass. So I'm gonna use my razor to come along and clean up the edges of the glass. I'm gonna pull any broken tape that got in there or any mistakes that have been made. Glass is so forgiving. And here's the hardware I picked out. It actually matches the rest of my kitchen cabinets. I know it's gonna be a black on black type feature, but I really like it. Really looks elegant. Putting the shelves in. This was a lot harder than I thought. The hinges made it very difficult. I eventually had to put the shelves inside and then put the shelf holders in the holes. And now we're going to paint this. Putting the final touches on, so close to done. We'll have to come back and anchor this uh, to each other, screw them together and anchor them because this thing is very tall and don't want to take any chance on it tipping over. There you have it. A few little things I still have left to do to finish painting the trims and put in a shelf or two in the glass part. But here it is. It's nice. I hope you've enjoyed this. At the very least, will you please hit that like thumbs up button below or you can subscribe to my channel for more of this type of information. Thanks for watching, guys.